A reading from the book of Joshua. The Lord said to Joshua, Today I have taken away the shame of Egypt from you. The Israelites abode at Gilgal on the plains of Jericho, and on the evening of the fourteenth of the month they celebrated the Passover. On the day after the Passover, they ate what the land produced, in the form of unleavened bread and parched grain. And the manna ceased after they had eaten the produce of the land, neither did the children of Israel use that food any more, but they ate of the yield of the land of Canaan. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whoever is in Christ, there is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, a new being is there to see. And it is all God's work who reconciled us to himself through Christ Jesus, and he gave us the ministry of reconciliation. For God indeed was in Christ, reconciling the world to himself, not accounting their sins against them, and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. So we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God was ordering you through us, and in the name of Christ we appeal to you to be reconciled with God. For our sake he made the sinless one a victim for sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus, but the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, These men welcome sinners and eat with them. So Jesus addressed this parable to them. There was a man who had two sons, and the younger son said to his father, Father, give me the share of your estate that will come to me. So the father divided the property between them. A few days later, the younger son gathered all his belongings and went abroad into a distant country where he squandered his inheritance on a life of debauchery. When he had freely spent everything, a severe famine struck that country and he found himself extremely in need. So he hired himself out to one of the citizens of that country and sent him into his farm to feed the swine. He was willing to have filled himself with the husks that the pigs were eating, but no one would let him have him. Then he came to his senses and said, How many of my father's hard men have more than enough food to eat? But here am I, dying from hunger. I shall leave this place and go to my father and say, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. Treat me as one of your hard men. So he got up and went back to his father. While he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion. He ran to his son, embraced him and kissed him. Then his son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. But his father ordered his servants, Quickly bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fatted calf and slaughter it. We will celebrate with a feast, because this son of mine was dead and has come back to life again. He was lost and has been found. Then the celebration began. Now the older son has been out in the fields, and on his way back, as he drew near the house, he heard the sound of music and dancing. He called one of the servants and asked what it was all about. The servant told him, Your brother has returned, and your father has slaughtered the fattened calf, thus he has got him back safe and sound. He became angry and refused to enter the house. His father came out and pleaded him to come in. But he said to his father in reply, all these years I served you, never once disobeyed your orders. Yet, you never gave me even a young goat to feast on with my friends. But when your son returns who swallowed up your property with prostitutes, you kill the fattened calf. His father said to him, My son, you are here with me always, and everything I have is yours. But now it is only right that we must celebrate and rejoice, because your brother was dead and has come back to life again. He was lost and has been found. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> 